Redshift RT now gives you the ability to add depth of field to your images, which brings it one step closer to parity with the production render. But it's still a little bit weird, so I wanted to take a look at how we can enable it and also kind of the weirdness to it. So I have a simple scene set up here with a couple of spheres and a plane, nothing complex. I'm gonna go ahead and add a camera in here. I'd bring that over and let's bring up our render view as well. And just starting off here, we don't really have any depth of field. And that's because we have to go to our Redshift camera, come over to depth of field and enable it. And you can see that everything gets a little blurry to start off with. Let's go ahead and set our focus distance back here. And you can see that this first sphere is out of focus. But if I go ahead and enable RT and refresh our scene, we lose all of our depth of field, which is obviously not what we're looking for. And that's because it seems that RT doesn't allow you to use Houdini's cameras in uh, focus slash f-stop to actually use the depth of field. You have to use the legacy depth of field, which is kind of a weird choice if you ask me. But once we uncheck that, we have some depth of field going on. And this is pretty much the extent of the depth of field that you're going to get, I believe. I haven't been able to get any more depth of field, so obviously we can lower it and you get a little bit more in focus. But as you raise this, even if you crank this up to some crazy number, you don't get any more depth of field. Which if you compare that to, obviously, the regular production render, it gets pretty out of focus pretty quick as we start cranking that up. But with RT, it's kind of out of the question. And the focus distance, you can drag around. Even if you were to put it you know, super far out there, it doesn't really make it any more out of focus. A little bit maybe, but nothing too crazy. And I think that it's got something to do with the way that RT works. So obviously it's denoising the image, so it's using an approximation of the pixels around it to kind of do everything, but it's, I don't know, it's a little weird if you ask me. And some things that don't work too well, let's see if I can get a good spot. I don't know how well you can see this, but right here, everything else is out of focus, but right here on this sphere, it seems to be more in focus than the rest of the sphere. So there's a little bit of some weird stuff going on with RT. Now obviously it's going to be better than nothing and it's going to work, but if you're gonna to want to use depth of field in your final images or your final animations, you may want to just be aware of some of the pitfalls of it, but also you may just wanna use the production render for those types of situations. Especially if you're doing still images, there's no point to really use RT, but uh, for actual like animations, then you may want to use RT, but you may think twice if you have to use depth of field for your images. Now, that being said, it still does look pretty decent, but obviously, like I said, there's just a couple things that definitely needs to improve, and I'm sure that it'll get better with time, and as long as it's not a limitation of the way that it works with the denoising. De so anyways, that's how you go about enabling depth of field in Redshift RT. So a bunch of new stuff in RT, make sure you guys check that out. If you haven't, there's also a CPU render, uh, there's enabled uh, particles and hair inside of RT in 3.5. So lots of cool stuff coming to RT. It's definitely becoming a more viable choice for your animations, but obviously some things that still need some improvement. Anyways, hopefully this helped you out. Make sure you guys check out the other videos on my channel. I have a bunch of other stuff on Houdini and Redshift, a bunch of stuff on Clarice and some stuff on Cinema 4D as well. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you check that out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.